I'm going to find down there, no, so let's... You, 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 you just didn't want anything? I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm ready for that right now. I'm not going to make a decision. No, we're just, we're not going to go this route. We're not. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I don't think I want to. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Not right now. Yeah. Is it okay if I just yeah, put just my stuff down? All right. It's too hot out there. So where are you from originally? I was to snap my fingers, and the solar was all set up on the back side of the roof, and you had that fixed amount of the $98.11. And you heard the doorbell ring, and you went to go check who it was. It was the utility company, and they tried to convince you to rip the panels off. Go back to the $133 payment that you pay now, and they said they could raise it any time. What would you say? There's the door. There's the drive-thru. No, no. We'll only raise it once or twice a year. No. They wouldn't do it. Hi, miss. How are you? No, we got a sign down there. No solicitor. Oh, I'm not a solicitor. I'm not with sales. This is correct? So I'm not here to sell you anything. I know it's a heartbreaker. Um, I'm supposed to let everybody know about the fine that was just issued. It has nothing to do with sales. You were here. You were here. Yes, the other. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I, 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 this is my first day here, so definitely wasn't me. I promise. Maybe I have a twin, but no, I wasn't here. No, we were. We were introduced to the same thing you're doing right now. Exactly. Okay. Identical. Did you guys get the negative electric bill? That's no, all. We don't. We didn't get that. We get everything okay. by by email. So what were you approached about? Because what I'm doing is completely different. Well, I don't know what they, they were. But before it wound up, we yep. were doing anything with the roof. Nothing to do with yeah, your roof. Yeah, we just didn't want anything. Strictly informational. Um, it is going to affect you, unfortunately. Um, and you guys just want to make sure you were paid properly. Oh, yes. We've been doing good. No, what I'm trying to explain to you, you're getting a little ahead of yourself, is the utility company just got fined $1.7 million yeah. because what happened was the meter was spinning without you consuming power. Mm -hmm. So whether you have Reliant, TXU, it doesn't make a difference to me, mm -hmm. but all I'm showing you is that these families are now, everyone got their bill 15 days ago. So what I'm trying to explain to you, like, I know I have empathy for you because you probably have 20 people knock on your door. Yes. And that's, that's like, it just, it puts me into a bad position because all the people that are trying to sell you stuff, but I'm trying to help you here because the electric bill should have came back as a credit balance and that's why the families are starting to get these do not pay electric bills when the drones were above the home it was not russia it was not china this is your house so like i'm just like trying to explain to you why all these families are getting the negative electric statements yeah we're not we didn't get any of that okay we didn't get a thing. so we want to make sure you are compensated and reconciled have you noticed the people that have been putting the little windmills behind their homes or like the solar panels on the roof well, the solar panels that's been going on for years here. yeah so those people did not win the lottery those no. people did not take money out of their checking account it's just if you flip that page around and uh, i'm sorry i'm not trying to be rude or anything to yeah. you guys i'm just trying to let you know what's going on texas is the only state with its own power grid yeah. The Public Utility Commission in May just approved $19 billion in upgrades. What that means to us is that they are going to make the rates skyrocket over the next four years, which is like a pebble in our shoe. The $150, $200 bill you pay to the utility company is probably on auto pay. It's not a big deal. But when that turns to a four or $500 bill, people don't want to pay that. Now, if the utility company is corrupt and spinning the meter on power we didn't even use, that's why I'm trying to ask you know, whether or not you guys were reconciled. If you want to opt out of the program, that's fine. You guys can just overpay. But the reason that people have been putting the windmills or the solar is because they wanted to produce the power on site. Yeah. That's the that's the reason the families, like if you use Reliant, for example. Okay, so like th this is the example of what should happen. If you just look at that, that's a Reliant statement. And my apologies, you know, the upper management makes me train all these guys. That's why it's not normal that you see four or five people come into your house. Um, but ultimately, I'm here because I can help you. If it's something where you're like, Taylor, we don't want your help, thank you for at least treating me like a human being. And what's what's happening right now, and, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I actually... Um, uh, me and my wife live in Florida and these companies have me come I travel all over the United States right now the reason you pay so much is because of the infrastructure and you're not paying 200 bucks a month on your bill it's all the fees and surcharges that keep adding up so what I'm proposing is something completely different I'm proposing an idea before these companies say we want to sell you this or we want to sell you that that we would produce all your power on site and you would have a negative electric bill it's just people want to be more economical 
toll on their bills. Have you guys lived here for a pretty long time? 30 years. So have you noticed the electric bills have continued to gone up on you? It's just yeah. inflation. Yes, but I mean, that's the, the biggest I'm issue. Quite a few yeah. The biggest, uh, yeah, house prices go up, everything. Right. You know, the, the biggest issue is if we have to pay $19 billion to upgrade this infrastructure, that means we have to pay all of that. And what I'm trying to avoid is that pebble in your shoe that will turn into a glass shard. I already put together the report for the home. You know, if you want to see it, I'll show it to you. If you don't want to see it, then, you know, I'll rip it up. <laughs> but what I'm trying to explain to you is this is not a sales process where I'm going to ask you to buy something. You're already paying for it. It's just whether or not you want to pay more or whether you want to pay less. If you want control, predictability. Uh, you know, everyone's been super friendly to me out here, but I also have empathy for you guys because you probably have been approached a hundred times. Yeah, and I, I don't blame you. I'm a, I'm a consumer myself, so whenever I put myself in this sort of situation, you know, I want to try to find somebody that I can trust and I can respect, but at the same time, if I can't help you, then I don't even know if I can help you yet. Right. All I know is that the imagery came back, like I, I was showing your wife. This is the report, just so you can see it, and and uh, this is the report. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not interrupting. I'm trying to. I am yep. interrupting you. No but problem. But the thing is, yeah. That's your house. So the unique, yeah. the unique thing about this location is the whole back side of the house is covered with sun. You guys get yeah. obliterated with sun on that. So with a self-facing roof, I'm able to actually produce all your power on site. But see now here where we are. Okay, now you just jump from one thing to the other. Now we're not talking about my electric bill, you're talking about my roof. No, I'm talking about that your roof gets a lot of sunlight yes. and by producing the but power- what is the object of why, my, my roof? It's solar panels. But it's not a purchase system. You're not buying the system. I'm proposing that we pay for the system. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I've been suckered so many times by this. I, I, it, it's, it's, well, I, I don't blame years you. years ago, 20, 15 I, years ago. Well, the, the, only, the only sucker is the utility company continuing to make you pay, because we can both agree that's 100% interest. If you move, the utility company's not giving you any of that money back. Oh, no. So the idea is, let's say the average payment to the electric company is 150 bucks, let's just say hypothetically, and I could produce all of your power on site and your electric bill would be 85 bucks five years from now and it would produce all your power mm -hmm. that you're able to be more economical on a bill you're never gonna cancel. I, I don't show you this like to, yeah. I, I show you this simply because I've been doing this since 2014 and if I didn't think I could help you, like if I showed it to you, it's not a long drawn out process. It takes me literally five minutes. This is the destination I try to get you to. Yeah. Oh, do you remember me? It's from eight years ago. I am Taylor. See, you knew my name. Two, eight years for later. Why do, why do you think is the reason that you did business with me when I came and knocked on your door? And I haven't had a light bill in eight years. Uh, hasn't paid a light bill in eight years. Yeah. All I'm saying is I already have the report completed. All I would do is show you two things. One, what your electric bill would be, which would be negative, based on the fact you have a southern facing roof. And secondly, is how we could produce the power on site. Yeah. It's not its not a sucker thing. its I'm not installing. No, no, no. What I was yeah. talking about was, when they introduced this whole program of roof, everything to me, oh, you're gonna make a big deal. You're gonna save energy like you won't believe it. You won't ever pay another bill. But you own it for 20 years. Whether you like it or not, you will be paying for 20 years on this house. You can't sell it, you can't give it away, you own it. Who owns it? Me. But I own it only through the company that put it on. So just because they say I own it, I don't own a lick of it. This, this is the same way that you don't own the meter on the side of the home. It's a never-ending loan with the utility company. And that's what was going on with this roof, and I said no. Yeah, that, this is a totally I said, different. I don't plan to live that long. Yeah, so of I course. Don't want it. But my question to you is simple. If you could pay a lot less, like the, let's uh, let's just say super hypothetical, right? And I appreciate you guys having the conversation because it helps these guys, they're training. Yeah. Um, this is the hypothetical question I would give you. If I snap my fingers and you had an electric bill was 80 bucks and you knew it would never increase and there was solar on the back side of the roof and you heard the doorbell ring and it was Encore and Encore said, hey, I have an idea. Let's rip off the solar, come back to Encore, your bill will be 150 and we can raise it at any time. What would you say? They dropped in. 
You wouldn't do it. You know, it's that same concept right. that there's really no way I can hurt your situation. It's just the hardest part of my job is timing. There's two things that I need to earn with families. It's trust and respect. If I can gain your trust by showing you documentation beats conversation, I want you to take your time. It's not a doorstep decision. The way that this process works so you understand is the first part is I have to verify that I can even do it which means that you could be disqualified due to shading, structure, and or permitting. Right. The utility company to deny it because they didn't accept the application. Right. The town could deny it because they wouldn't issue in a permit. The way that it works is you go to the back of the line, we schedule a time for them to look at the roof. If we get the first thumbs up, then we schedule an application to go to the utility company. If we get the second thumbs up, then we get a permit. We cover all the upfront costs, which is the main reason that deters people from being involved with the program. Then we schedule an installation, then it gets installed, then the sun goes up and the bills go down. It's not a, it's not a like, uh, but sometimes... Who pays, but who pays for the equipment that goes into your garage that takes that electricity that comes from the solar, and then it goes into that medical? We do. We do, because what we did was we, imp we introduced this new technology. You can see the difference with the old stuff and the new stuff. This is the way that the new panels look, so you can see that it's a lot more low profile and thinner mm -hmm. than the older systems. Um, now, if you turn that around, those are the six biggest questions I get. What happens to my roof? It keeps the house cooler. What if we were to move? It transfers over the same way Encore would. What does this cost? You guys are already paying for it. If I cannot take the money that you give to the utility company to fund the entire project, we don't do it. Who maintains it? We're on the hook for 25 years. When do we start saving money? Immediately from day one. Where's the power produced? It's, pro it's produced on site. Like I'm talking, the average home in Texas cuts about $41,000 on a bill they're not going to cancel. But then, unfortunately, we're, ever since the Texas freeze, we're seeing more than 20% increases every single year that are going to continue happening. What's the destination? Is a do not pay electric bill. All I want to do is show you the report. And ultimately, this is the way I would try to get it for you is you're producing it on site. You'd have a negative electric bill. You're no longer at the mercy of the power company because it's produced on site. You're no longer having to deal with that, but you have independence. I think people go solar initially for savings. Some people go solar for the additional equity, yeah. the control, the predictability, and then you know the environment. If you're able to produce clean energy that's less, it's better than producing uh, more for more. So this is all I do, just to show you the breakdown. It's not a long drawn out process. It would take me under five minutes to break that down for you. I, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm ready for that. Right. Now, I'll, it's I'll, a, tell you, I'll tell you what. Yep. We're not. We're. We're an unusual couple. How long have you guys been married? Fifty-two, three years. My famous question: Who winked at who first? It was a flip. It was a flip. No, no. I have cancer. Okay. So I'm on a limited life situation. Yes. And I and I just don't want to go beyond. The, the only thing that I would say and to I'm you not because gonna, and I'm not going to go pushing myself. Do, do you know Do you know Frank Hauser? You probably don't. Um, he was a family that I set up. He's had cancer for 20 years, mm -hmm. right? And one of the main reasons that he chose to go solar was because he knew that when he left his wife to the home, that she wouldn't have to deal with this. Like uh, I, I genuinely know I can help you because what's going to happen is you're going to start seeing these heart attack bills that come into three, four, five hundred bucks in the next few years and that's what we're trying to avoid for you that's what I could genuinely just sh if I'm able to show you that you're able to pay less immediately from day one that this is not a process where you have to take out a loan that's the old program that you already approached about it was a loan it would take 20 years to pay off the system and then you'd be in debt for 20 years paying off the system even though you're in a never-ending loan with the utility company what I'm ultimately showing you is a way that we pay for the system yeah. We just proposed the idea that it's produced on site. If you gave me three minutes to show you the design, ultimately you'd have more information. I'm not gonna ask you to make a decision today. I just wanted to show you. Because yeah. I'm not gonna make a decision today. That's fine. I'm not yeah. expecting you and to. I, if oh, I, I prefer, I prefer to just... If I showed you the design, and these guys can stay out, they, like I said, they're just oh, training. 103 degrees yeah. temperature, you know? Well, I, I mean, if you guys have a small corner of a table. No, we're just, we're not gonna go this route. We're not. I, I, I know. I know you're sincere, and I'm not. And I'm I just. You. I just know I can help you, and I've had so many people. It's like you know who Dr. Seuss was. 
Yeah, he wasn't a doctor. I know, but he wrote a book called Green Eggs and Ham. Oh, yes. And on page 15, he kept saying no, and on the 15th page, he said, you know what? I'll take a look at it. I'll try some of those green eggs and ham. Yeah. And he liked it. And all I'm willing to do is show you. Uh, no, Andy, I'm not. I'm not. There's no decision to be made today. This is not a doorstep decision. All I would do is show you the design. I'd break down both situations and I'd leave this with you. Give you time to talk together and figure out if it would help you. And if it wouldn't help you, then you wouldn't do it. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Even if I just left you with the report, you'd rip it up, you wouldn't even look at it? Probably not. I wouldn't tear it up, but I, I, I probably wouldn't. So if you, like that question I asked you, that if it was set up, you would never rip it off. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I apologize because I have empathy for you, but also the reason I'm so persistent is because I know that I could help you. Yeah. It's probably not normal that you have five people that come up to your house and, no. you know, but it's just, I've been in this situation so many times and it really is a service. And you could put a stop clock on and go till five minutes and at five minutes you could kick me out of the house. It would not take me five minutes to fill this out. Yeah. It would take under five minutes. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Not right now. Not right okay. now. If, if I came back, if you guys talk about it, and I came back in 30 minutes. Oh, not 30 minutes. Well, just because I have appointments for the rest yeah, of the know. night. Yeah. And, I mean, even if you if you tell me, do you, I could do it right here. Do you know what roughly what the bill comes to? Like the average bill? The roughly? average bill runs around $90 like, a month. So the high bills are maybe 120 130 The low bills are about 60 yeah, I, I, I never have a high bill. Okay, so the the highest bill is well, probably the highest bill about ninety bucks. The highest bill is ninety. Yeah. So what do you think the average is? The average is about uh, I'm gonna say eighty. Eighty. Okay, so look, so the eighty dollars is what you pay in a month. Nine hundred and sixty dollars is what you give to the utility company in a year. You get 100% of your power coming from the utility. There's no added home value. There's no tax credit. The rates are going up around 8% per year. With the new infrastructure upgrade, that's going to hit uh, above 20%. If you don't do anything about this in a 10-year period with no inflation, you'd give them just under 10 grand. In a 20-year period, you'd give them 19,200 plus inflation. And then in a 30-year period, $29,000 is what you're giving to the utility company, which is 100% interest. Yes, there are a few things we want out of it. If we're going to sit here and tell you we're going to cover the cost of the entire system, yeah. the engineering, the permitting, this is what we would want. You've lived here for so long. If we're able to refer back to you guys and tell others what you like and benefit, it helps us as a reference. The second thing is a non-disclosure. You could not brag to the neighbors and say, oh, we got a system and we didn't yeah. even have to take a loan for it. We'd keep a small little sign right in the front planner just mm -hmm. to indicate, because you're not going to be able to see the panels. They're all going down in the back of the house. And then we fly a drone over the home the day of the installation. If you're cool with those four things, then the benefits for you is you'd pay zero out of pocket, you'd have the additional equity, the tax credit gets applied right into the system, we'd warranty the system, the production, you'd produce it on site, all the fees and surcharges, those are the six, seven dollar fees on the bill get wiped out, the amounts fixed, it's better for the environment. Those are the reasons why you wouldn't be allowed to do the program. <laughs> Next step is I just show you the design. I show you what it would look like, and I fill in this side of the chart, mm -hmm. and that's it. It's not like I could be done in under two minutes if you let me show you the design, and then you guys can talk about it on your own time when I'm gone. But at least it's something I don't to talk want about. You to tell me, you'll talk about it when I'm gone, and I'll be back in 30 seconds. No, no, no. I'm no. going to come back in 30 more seconds. No, not at all. You guys take as much time as you want. I'm talking like my Oma and Opa right now. Yeah. Do you know what an Oma and Opa are? No. It's my grandparents from my German side. I'm half German, oh, no. half Irish. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So if, if, I, if there's just this corner of a table, I'll just fill in this side of the chart and then you guys talk about it. I'm not a used car salesman. I don't believe in high pressure. I'd want you to be excited about it. And if you weren't excited about it, I would tell you not to do it. But then, what, then I'm gonna have to turn over to you to my bill to show you my electric thing. No, if you tell me that it's a $90 average, as long as you're confident about that. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. <laughs> okay, if you're confident. In fact, in, I'm just paying it right now. Yep. Oh. So. I mean, I don't, I, I'm, 
Oh, I'm hurting, guys. I got it. Is it okay if I just yeah, put just my stuff down? All right. Can Jim just let yep. me know? Okay, I can't. I can't. All right. Is it okay? I just come yeah. Down. Man, it's too hot out there. So where are you from originally? I was to snap my fingers and the solar was all set up on the back side of the roof and you had that fixed amount of the $98.11 and you heard the doorbell ring and you went to go check who it was and it was the utility company and they tried to convince you to rip the panels off, go back to the $133 payment that you pay now and they said they could raise it anytime. What would you say? There's the door. There's the driveway, guys. Well, what if they were like, come on, please come back. No, no way. We'll only raise it once or twice a year. No. They wouldn't do it. And no. what'd you guys tell me? You told me no like 10 times. Yes, I did. You told me no, and then I had to bring up the Dr. Seuss line, and you told me he wasn't a doctor. Yes.